Well, it has been an odd year for sports from high schools not playing, college football playing limited games, and pros having no fans in the stands, among other limitations with COVID. Former Oklahoma linebacker Brian the Boz Bosworth is back on the field now interviewing former college football players and coaches. But I'm the one with the big interview here this morning because he joins us live now to discuss a project he's been working on. And good morning to you, Boz. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Eric. Hey, tell us about this bucket list. I love this. Uh, where did you go for the bucket list? Uh, did you shoot this uh, during the pandemic here? I would imagine that would be a little bit of a challenge. Yes, it was a challenge. Um, you know, they decided to go ahead uh, and shoot it during the, during the season, um, last minute, uh, because of the importance of, I think, just reminding people about how important coming together collectively for the purpose of sharing and caring and just loving each other, you know, setting all the other issues aside for the purpose of why we love college football and how important it is for our communities, our chemistry, our character, just everything about us that makes us, you know, Americans think together. Um, so we ended up choosing schools that, you know, people instantly recognize. So, you know, we've Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, LSU, Texas A&M, uh, Oklahoma University of Texas. We, we got eight in um, that could cooperate with us at the last minute. Um, and it was in close proximity so we could travel safe and things. And we only had a very short window of time and there were restrictions to try to get access to certain people. But what we were able to capture was the, the conformity of, of every university you went to had so much personal pride about who they were and why they were and what, what makes it so important that they maintain this this uh, this identity and sure. it, it, it also what we wanted to do was kind of open up the door window a little bit for those that have never visited that they watch the games with fans of college football but they watch from the comforts of their own you know their own home but what you're missing the sights and the sounds and the, the smells the experience to be exposed to the great out doors of being in that element it's almost like going into the serengeti it's like wow this is the wild mm -hmm. and i've exposed myself and yet i feel safe because everybody is glad that i'm here yeah and i'm experiencing something that i'm never going to forget yeah you're right i went to usc and i can I, you're, there is a sight smell to the coliseum and I, you almost picture yourself there just you have those incredible uh, memories. Um, we talk about the bucket list, right? So, you know, I know so many people are trying to get out there and, and, and they're looking forward to traveling. I mean, do you see the bucket list inspiring some father and son road trips potentially? If not, maybe now, at least maybe, you know, the, the planning stage happening. You know, it's, it's not going to start. It's been doing that for generations. And I think that's the important part of, of, of whether it's a family together, whether it's a father and son, father and son, father and daughter, yeah. mother and son, mother and daughter, doesn't matter. It's it's the connectivity of of why you love that university and how far you'll go and travel to be part of the tradition of carrying this thing on. You know, uh, it, it, unless you unless you love that university, and love that experience, because the relationship you you build when you go there, you see people that you that you're familiar with, that you go to an atmosphere and it, it energizes you on a, on a Friday night, you get excited on a Saturday before the game, you see all your friends are hanging out at the tailgate, the, you know, the kids are running around, you see the, the sights and sounds, the, 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 the band playing, the yeah. pomp and the yeah. colors. I mean, everything, it's, it's like, it's like a, some sort of trip that you yeah. get probably back in the sixties. It really is. So, <laughs> yeah. You got to have that in your, in your family. Hey, Boz, we got to run here, but where can people watch the bucket list? It's on Crackle. It's dropped um, already, so you can watch. You can go on Crackle. It's free. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's we, we've all got all eight episodes up. Awesome. And you can binge watch it. Just watch it one at a time, but Crackle Network. Real quick, Chiefs or Bucks, who are you going for on Sunday? It's a big game. I'm going to go with experience. I like Tom, and I, I'm not sure if, uh, if Mahomes is 100%. You're going to need 100% to, to, to beat uh, Tom Brady. That's true. That is true. All right. We got it first here from the Boz. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, Boz. Really appreciate it. And, Thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate you. The segments. Take care. Have a great morning.